Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see a bellum flag attached to a string. Right, so as you can see in the intro, this is combining two of the bellum constraints uh, to create this effect. Uh, this took me a little while to figure it out because it's a little bit new, bellum is new, and um, uh, it took me a while to figure out how you would, uh, how you actually mix these two things together. All right, so we have two things here. I'm just to start with a, a line, which is just a line there here in space. And I have this grid, which is gonna be my my flag, all right? So what we need first for this thing is just groups. So let's create a group uh, for the uh, line. And the group, this is gonna be rope, group. So I just have this OS expression here. So it gets the, the group gets the name, whatever name I type here. Uh, this, uh, in this side, we're going to do, um, uh, flag or fabric group, flag group. And, uh, that's really important. We need these groups to distinguish these two guys in, uh, in the constraint. So now I'm going to merge this two. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I'm going to merge these two things. Now we're going to start creating the bellum constraints and the first one, I'm, I'm going to create just a, a bellum constraint, this guy here. And the first one's going to be the string. So I'm going to change this to string here. Uh, the type is going to be string. And here's the, uh, the important part. Like if I do this, it doesn't really know what to compare to a string. So we need to use the group to tell it what to compare to a string. So let's, change this to rope and now that's the one that's going to be converted to a string so the other one is not going to be there so let's put a bellum uh solver here just so we know this is working and you're going to see that uh, something weird happens so both things fall uh because they actually being both converted to something right now so let's uh add some wind here Gonna add some wind here in the x direction. You can see the uh, you can see the uh, string is looking like it should be, but the uh, the flag uh, here is just a mess because it's trying to convert that to a, a string, I guess, or or doesn't know what to do. So we're going to actually add another constraint, and this is gonna be the class. So now we're going to change this to class, and now we're gonna use the flag group for that. All right. So now if we run this, you can see these two things are gonna uh, behave as they should. They're not interacting with each other right now, but they seem like they're doing the, the right thing. So now what we need to do is uh, put another constraints uh, and we need uh, to pin the, the line start and ends of this. Uh, we need another, uh, another group here. So I'm gonna use uh, a group group expression for that. So this is gonna be called start start and and the group. And here we're gonna type a pt num, which is the point number. If the point number is equal to zero, we're gonna get that into the group. So if we see here, I'm gonna change this to points, of course, here. If I t uh, click this button here, I see what the group it's, it's uh, using now or what is being grouped. So now you can see PTNAM is equal to zero. Uh, if we go here and you can see, I can type uh, 85 and get the, the other point, but if I change the number of, of points here, that won't work, right? So we're gonna say if PTNAM is equal to zero, group that, or if uh, PTNAM is equal to uh, lm num lm minus one. So this means this num lm uh, means the number of elements in this uh, in this object. So the number of elements is going to be in this case is uh, what eighty six, uh, but the point number is eighty five because it starts at, at zero. So that's why we subtract one to so we can select actually point number 85, which because uh, that's what we need here, the point numbers. This is the same if we would have uh, type 
0 and 85 here. Uh, oh, seems like it doesn't work like that. In a regular group, then. In a really group. In a regular group, it would work. So now we have those, and then we can set a pin for this. So let's create another volume constraint. I bring this to a pin, pin to target. And uh, we're gonna do this uh, to points, change this the group type to points and use the, that point that we, that group that we just created. And this means it's just gonna, if we select the solver and run, hide the numbers. You can see those points are attached in 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 like in the example to the 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 pole there to the flag pole there. So you can see that the flag it's kind of like interacting with the string, but it's just the collisions. It's not sticking to it. So now what we need to do is actually make it stick. So let's go and create another vellum constraint and change this to glue. Uh, the group here is gonna be uh, the uh, flag. And the target's gonna be the uh, the rope here. So we need the flag. Uh, the flag is gonna be the one that's gonna be glued and the target to glue it to is gonna be the rope. So now if you run this, you can see the flag, it's stuck to the to the rope and it's it's getting it's it's getting stuck there, but you can see the the rope it's just stretching too much. It's just a lot of weight on that uh, string. So what we're gonna do to fix that is go to the string and activate the mass and and I don't I don't think we need the thickness, but uh, activate the mass and put this to five. So that's gonna be give it uh, the it's gonna give the rope uh, but a but a bit more. It's gonna give the rope a bit more mass and it's gonna not gonna stretch as much. You can see now it's just holding its shape more. Uh, also, I'm going to go to the flag, and the flag is really heavy right now because if we activate the mass here, uh, you can see that this this uh, mass, this 0 0.1 mass, is actually relative to the number of points there is on this flag, and there's a lot of points on this. This is 10,000 points, so you can multiply this by 10,000, and that's actually the mass of this. So be careful with this. Uh, let's put it to 0 0.01. Zero 01 so it's not that heavy yeah that's that's lighter that's better so yeah always consider that this mass is not the total mass of the object is the mass for each one of these points here so be careful with that because when you raise the ma the the amount of points on the your grid to make it high res the mass is going to be affected by the amount of points and uh, once we have that, we're basically done. Uh, the other things I did for the other um, file is just uh, getting uh, this curve, giving it some thickness and, and stuff like that, but it, it's, it's all just regular Dini stuff after this. So this is the, the, the uh, key for this is having your elements grouped together or grouped, uh, each, each one it's grouping and then you merge them and then you do all your regular uh, constraints here, just getting uh, setting the, the attributes for each one of them with these uh, constraints, and that's it. You can create more complex stuff uh, with this uh, this this technique. You can add more string, you can add more stuff, and you can break them or whatever. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, let's keep learning together. Cheers.